I've worked with Arts Council Collection many times over the years, so for many decades I've, I mean, exhibitions that I've curated, I've gone to them for loans from the Arts Council Collection and that's always been a really pleasurable and easy experience. I've also been a member of the um, acquisitions committee for the Arts Council Collection and that was a really good experience working with, with the rest of the committee to acquire new works for that collection. And then a really nice thing happened to me too which was two of my own works were acquired for the collection after I'd been on that committee. So that was a great thing to actually have works belonging to a national collection. And then the Arts Council Collection has been doing a series of exhibitions with museums and galleries um, across the country and one of those galleries is the Walker Art Gallery which was my local gallery when I was a kid. I was born on the Wirral and um, the works that I have in the collection were shown there as part of an exhibition which was really really pleasing for me. We're at the Wales in Venice Pavilion today which I'm a member of the advisory committee for Wales in Venice for this Biennale and for the next and it's really a stupendous exhibition that's been made this time by Hannah Firth and the artist James Richards. James has made five works which are really viscerally hard-hitting and incredibly poignant and beautiful works. There's a sound work which takes place in the decommissioned church with sounds that have come from specially, special recordings of singers from the Cardiff School of Music and then also sounds that James has um, gathered from the internet and other places and that's a piece of work that resounds across that beautiful slightly decrepit room and he tunes it specifically to those walls and the furniture that's in there and at times it's a really cacophonous sound that really hits you as you walk along the fundamental here and then at other times it's really sweet and really um, carefully, carefully selected a sound that engulfs the, 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 um, the sitter, I was going to say the viewer, but the sitter in this case. Another of the works is a new video work that he's made specially, which starts as a story a little bit about the um, filmmaker and producer Albrecht Becker, um, who's a man who um, tattooed his body and was gay and was incarcerated by the Nazis. It's not a film that's negative in its attitude at all, it's entirely positive about the possibilities of people under duress. So they're two quite powerful, hard-hitting, they really do hit you in the chest. And then there's also a sequence of prints that James has made on brushed aluminium which are displayed on a small shelf that runs around a room with one single light coming, coming in through the window. So it's a very sepulchral space. There's images from a man's scalp and there's images of a polythene that covers a doorway. And of course saying those things is completely pointless because what James has done is turn those really prosaic everyday images into something again very very delicate and very beautiful so of course as we're looking at those brushed aluminium pieces of metal with those prints on them we see a slightly blurry ver version of ourselves so those bodies that piece of metal all of that matter reflecting our own matter throughout the exhibition.